Hi, good morning everybody. Uh, Richard here, hope you're all well. Um, it's Saturday the 14th um, of January. Uh, it's a beautiful morning out here today. Um, blue skies, it was blooming cold last night, nearly swore. Uh, blooming cold last night. Um, I think the forecast was minus one, but pff, it was a lot colder than that. It's a really, really heavy frost. Um, due to kind of commitments on Saturday, I can't really spend much time out and about today, so I thought I'd uh, break off the ice on the old garden hide, uh, which I've had set up for about a month now. And um, and yeah, it was just uh, I've got a little set up in the garden, a little feeder set up um, that gets regularly visited. Um, I'll put a, a photo of the hide up later on. It's a little two man two man hide, but it's a bit tight for two men. To be honest with you, you have to. You have to be really friendly with that second that second man, shall we say? Um, but um, but yeah, so it's it's kind of comfortable for one man really. Uh, I've got my, my my camera set up on a tripod, my main camera. Um, so yeah, so um, we shall see. So I've got my, my feeders set up. I've got a couple of perches that uh, are just off the off the feeders. I'm not a big fan of the photos of birds on feeders. I know we do it and, and, and that's fine but so what I've done is I've set a couple of a couple of perches up so I'm hoping that the birds will hop onto the perches I can get a photo before they jump onto the feeders and it's normally really well well used uh, I have a troop of house sparrows um, which obviously is becoming more and more of a rarity nowadays um, due to various building problems and lots of people getting fascias fitted and that's, and that's obviously where house sparrows like to like to live so they're becoming quite a rarity in the UK. Um, so, but uh, but luckily here we've we've got a, a, a quite a large population. So yeah, no doubt I'll get house sparrows today, which is always a, uh, always nice. There's a couple of blue tits that regular uh, make a regular appearance. It's a beautiful robin as well. Um, the robin can be a bit sketchy though, um, and, and it's only a little. I think it's might be maybe maybe one of the young from this year. It's not the largest robin at all. Um, I've had I've had some long-tailed tits in the garden, and um, I had a female black cap a few weeks ago. I have the obligatory blackbird. I've got a pair of blackbirds, uh, male and female, and um, some wood pigeons. Now, these wood pigeons are the biggest, fattest wood pigeons you've ever seen. Uh, the lovely known the Colonel and the Colonel and S. I think the Colonel and S. I think that's what they call it. I don't know. It's what the kids call them. Uh, but anyway, yeah, it's definitely called the Colonel, um, and they will be making an appearance. So I've just got into the hide now um, and set up. So normally, what happens is they normally will bugger off for half an hour, uh, and then they'll um, and then they'll be then they'll be back. So so yeah, the beauty about the hide is that if I just want a quick a quick um, hour or so behind the camera and just to kind of keep the eye in, if you like. Um, um, I can kind of jump jump in here, so um, so no, it's it's quite a nice. It be sitting in front of the telly, doesn't it? Um, uh, yeah, but it's not the like I say, it's not the biggest hide. I have to wear camo a camo hood, so I'll you'll see this in a bit because um, I'm not sure you'd be able to see it on here. But with the camera, I have to have the front shield down. There you go. Oh, this is a, a shield. Um, the, the birds can kind of see through, so I have to put a camo camera screen over my face I've got gloves on as well and uh, and then hopefully the um all the birds won't be too spooked but like I say it can it can take a while for them to turn on so we shall see um a couple of magpies have been over as well just to because they are clever the magpies are a really clever bird so literally as soon as you feed the feeder up they're not far off in fact one's just coming over now um and uh, yeah they'll be the first to visit um um, and, and the way that I've got the feeders positioned is they can't get to them. can't get to the seat because they're just so boisterous and they just empty the feeder in, in an hour um, so what the, what the magpies tend to do is what happens is the wood pigeons come on they're, me they're messy eaters they will flick the food onto the floor the magpies come and feed off the floor um, but obviously the, the smaller pastoring birds the, 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 the sparrows and the, the blue tit and the robin 
um, um, passerine, sorry, not passerine. The passerine birds will, will, will kind of use the perches. So, so we'll see. Now the only obstacle I've got here is what's I get on with him, my neighbour. Um, he's got a frequency of coming out on a Saturday and doing doing jobs and chores around the house in the back garden, which is great. And obviously that spooks the birds. So it's a bit luck of draw, but it's relatively early still. He might be having a lie in. So hopefully, anyway, we'll. Uh, we shall see. It might be a bit too cold for him. Um, so yeah, we'll uh, we shall see how we get on. Like I say, just just a, a couple of hours this morning. Um, just something to uh, to put up, and uh, and, yeah, and yeah, we'll see. So uh, and a kestrel's just flown over. By me. So. <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, hopefully he might come back and sit on a perch. You never know. So, um, so yeah. So, um, oh, the colonel's arrived. I'll put a photo of the colonel up. Um, so yeah, we'll uh, we'll see how we get on. So, uh, stay tuned, guys, and uh, see you in a bit. Thanks. Bye bye. Do you know what I mean? Top of the range fashion this. But um but hopefully the birds can't see me. Um with the background so we shall see if they can. I've got hood as well. There we go. Camouflage 101. I don't even know if you can hear me through this. I don't know if you can hear me. Hello? So yeah, here we go. were twitching I looked up and there she is, there she is and I got a beautiful shot of her um, picking a berry which I've been trying to get a, a, a shot of this bird for a while but I had to get it from the back door of the garden the kitchen and it's just too far away but just shows you with their hide here they don't really know that you're here or they don't really see any difference so without this hide I wouldn't have got that photo without her Literally, she was 10 foot away from me. So, so yeah, so that was worth coming out just for that photo. I'm absolutely made up with it. It's probably my best, best, last cap, best black cap photo. And I'm sure she'll be back. So, um, pigeons, but pigeons, pigeons not come back. Well, that's not a bad thing. But, uh, yeah, the sparrows not, not invaded yet. So, maybe that's where the black cap came down. Because the, 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 the sparrows do terrorise things a bit, really. So, so yeah, so. Oh, she's back now. She's back. Fantastic. again um, that's been about an hour um, believe it or not um, work called and all the rest of it so um, I'm back in the hide I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be in here now um, lights much better the lights oh, 
much better. The light's much better now. Um, so, but the heart of the feeders have gone a little bit quieter. So we shall see. We're going to give it another 15 minutes. Um, so it comes back after my disruption and backwards and forwards. So, um, had a goldfinch come down, which was lovely. Didn't get a shot of it though. It was kind of obscured. So all in all, I think I've had sparrow, blackbirds, obviously the kernel, um, robin, blue tit, marsh tit, whatever it is, can't quite know, black cap, um, magpie, but I don't, don't really take any photos of them guys. So, so yeah, it's been a productive, um, productive morning. So it just kind of shows you, I think as I said previously, you don't really have to travel far to, to be getting a wide variety of certainly birds and photos. Um, so um, so yeah, I just need to check my, my settings again now on the, on the main camera. Um, and um, we'll see what the next 15 minutes brings. So uh, see you in a bit, thanks a lot. Right guys, that's me done, thank you very much. Um, oh, I was about to say it's all gone quiet, but the, the kernel's come back. Um, it's all gone very quiet this last um, last half an hour or so since I came back in, so I, I'm not sure if there's a buzzard or a kestrel or maybe even a sparrow hawk flying around terrorising them, so, or maybe they're just having a, a, a mid-afternoon siesta, but uh, that's enough for today anyway, I think. Uh, good to get out. As I said earlier on, nice just to get out of the fresh air and get a few few shots on them about. Um, hopefully they'll edit, edit up good um, and, um, and provide enough of a video. So we shall see. So I think next trip, um, all being well, might be going for some owls. So, uh, so yeah, keep your eyes posted on that. Um, thank you very much for everybody who had some nice comments regarding the last video or the first video I did. Um, some real positive feedback so I'm um, glad glad everybody seems to be enjoying them so I'm enjoying doing these videos anyway so um, which which is all it's all about so um, uh, and a few new subscribers which was, was I was pleasantly surprised about so um, so yeah so until next time guys thank you very much keep safe and I shall see you later see you later thanks a lot bye bye dude.